everyone, my name is Renee and I'm one of your leaders of the Madison Art Cart. Today we are going to be doing a project based on symmetry. Symmetry is when you have objects on different sides that are identical or exactly the same. If you are able to catch us at the Art Cart and picked up a kit, you are going to find a sheet in there that gives you instructions, but it also tells you about an artist who uses symmetry often in their art. This artist is Carl Worsom. He is from Chicago, and if you look at the piece of art that we included on the handout, he uses symmetry a lot with um, faces, so you're going to see the eyes, the nose, the ears, even the colors are symmetrical in this piece of art. So when you open up your kit, here are the things that you will find and that we're going to be using in today's project. A black marker, a white piece of paper, a set of color pencils, and a pencil sharpener. Something that you will also need is a scissors. The first thing you're going to go ahead and grab from your kit is your white piece of paper. Rotate your paper so that it's portrait style up and down because we're going to be folding our paper. So taking one of your sides, you're going to fold over, meet up those corners the best that you can, and then crease. Turn your paper and you're going to want to have your flap facing upwards, and then you're going to want to have your crease on the bottom. Go ahead and grab your black marker from your kit because next we're going to be writing a word or your own name along the crease. I like to um, use the word art cart just because it fits well, but you don't have to use this word. Create whatever name or word that you would like. Write it pretty big so that it reaches the top of your paper and all the way across. Next, we're going to bubble cut, so that means that we're going to use our scissors to cut around our letters. Don't cut too close to the marker. You want to have a nice little bubble or border so that it works well. Go ahead and take those scraps and recycle them. Once you've done that, you're going to open up your creation with the word facing down, and you're going to have an awesome shape. All right, so you're going to go ahead and open up your shape and think about what it makes you think of. I'm going to show you two examples that I've done ahead of time using the word art cart kind of to get you started and show you um, what we're talking about. So the first time I did it, this is what I created. It reminded me of a bug, so I added some um, eyes at the top some dots, some funky legs, and then I went ahead and colored it in. Here is the second time I did it. I'm going to show you that you can see here, these are actually the same shape that I use in the same word. This time I added two faces with curved noses, um, a pizza on the top, a funky hat, and it really looks different than the first one that I did. So I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I do want to show you a way to use your black marker to get started. So we're going to add some eyes here on the sides. I think I'm going to make kind of a face this time. Still thinking of symmetry, so having elements that are very similar on each side or each half. Um, maybe we'll add a smile here. Kind of reminds me because of the shape of the paper. So using those edges and shapes, think about what uh, you would like to design. We're going to bring that finished product back in to show you how I use the black marker to outline first and then color in second. I'm going to quickly show you how you can start using your color pencils. Think about using it lightly versus pressing a little bit harder. I'm just coloring in one section right now. Maybe my creature has a blue nose, so that's what I decided to do. And again, looking at your finished project here, here are two different ways that I decided to color in my designs. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your symmetrical word creatures. I had a lot of fun adding different colors and designs, and if you have paper at home, feel free to try this again.
If you would like to send us your art to the art cart for us to see, you can use our email. I'm going to list it down below. It's artcartmadison at gmail.com. And you can also connect with us on social media, which I'm also going to include right here. <laughs>